Well, you know, most folks only think about falls after experiencing the first one, but what if we could stop them before they even happen? A researcher at the University of Michigan is hoping to do just that. So he uses some really simple tests combined with one high-tech tool that measures how fast your brain reacts to prevent a fall. Dr. McGeorge is here to show us the tests and what you can do if you fail. Okay, so pay attention. Three, two, one. That pencil falling from waist height, that is about how little time your brain and body has to react to prevent a fall. That is only a fraction of a second for your body to sense that you're falling, your brain to recognize it, and then react for your muscles to regain your balance. And if you fail, you're gonna get hurt. Anything? I feel it. All right, you tell me when it goes away. Sensing the vibration of a tuning fork. Still gone. Awesome, that felt like about 12 seconds, which is great. We want to align your thighs and your trunk. We want them all in a line. There you go, that's it. And we would count the number of seconds. And having the strength to hold a lateral plank. Well done. So I made it. 20 seconds is great. Okay. So. <sighs> These are two of the tests. Dr. James K. Richardson, a University of Michigan professor of physical medicine and rehabilitation, uses to evaluate a person's ability to prevent a fall. I have a program called JEDI, which is uh, judicious early detection of impending imbalance, with the idea being they're not falling yet, but they're on the wrong track. Mind evaluation. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. That's the formal name. I say mind evaluation because the third of the JEDI tests evaluates a person's mental processing speed with a device called the React Stick. And you just catch it as quick as you can. Okay. All right. But it's actually not easy because you're only supposed to catch it when the green light on top is on. That was an error. Nice. Well, you really have to think about it. 257 though. milliseconds. So that means that in 57 to 60, 70 milliseconds, you inhibited your prepotent catching response. You paid attention to light illumination status and ignored the fact that it's falling. Selective attention. You right. accessed working memory. Light on catch, light off, let go and then you executed. Processing speed, the brain in 60 seconds, milliseconds, you did that. The brain is a marvelous thing, isn't it? It is. And using the results from these three simple tests, Dr. Richardson can predict a person's fall risk. My research so far in clinical experience, you can miss one. So say your feet are numb. Yeah. If your hips are strong and your brain's quick, you're fine. You're gonna do well. Um, let's say your brain is a little slow that day, but you're a young person, you're an athlete perfect proprioception, strong hips, you're fine. They can walk and text. Um, <laughs> uh, and if somebody is um, weak in the hips and trunk, I've found they have excellent proprioception and a quick brain, they also do pretty well. Two of the three or being average on all three and you start to get in a gray zone and you start to have trouble. So, if it looks like you're going to have trouble, what did you do? Well, let's start with trouble feeling a tuning fork, meaning you don't feel your ankle and feet well. People do better, however, on uneven surfaces if they use um, some sport braces on their ankles. There's some braces that are used to uh, prevent ankle sprains that people say, I'm gonna go hiking. This helps them out. We have some research demonstrating that. They also, trekking poles, good for those folks. Um, vision, vision, vision. If the proprioception is bad, the vision's gotta be great. I recommend getting rid of bifocals. They make people that that transition, they need to see their feet and that will distort them. There's research suggesting that they make more errors and fall more with bifocals. And for trouble doing a plank or loss of strength? If there's strength loss, we all know, you gotta get a trainer or a physical therapist, you gotta work on those key muscles. Uh, another way to get stronger is to keep your strength and lose weight. And finally, the low-lying fruit for people with deep processing speed that's suboptimal is check their medications and then sleep. Now, the importance of this research is actually that it allows medical professionals to target treatment if a person does have an increased risk of falling. In fact, there are actually a number of simple tests that you can do at home to assess your risk of falling, and I posted a separate video explaining those tests on clickondetroit.com. You can get to them by following the QR code at the bottom of your screen. All right, Doc, so we want to give everyone a preview of one of the tests yeah. they can do at home, so uh, where do we start? 
Okay, so this first test is actually called the timed up and go test. Now, all you need is a timer and a chair. You start out sitting in a comfortable chair and you begin by standing up and you're allowed to use the arms, by the way, or any other device that you might normally use like a cane. Then you walk forward 10 feet, you turn around and you sit back down. If it takes a person more than 12 seconds to complete, that suggests that you have an increased fall risk. So why don't you guys maybe give it a try can do this. and see how you you do with this or just show people you exactly is what it basically is. Basically sit, stand and walk. Sit, stand and walk exactly within 12 seconds and I'll even time oh, you guys. Oh, so like, exactly and I'll even time you guys. Ready? Three, two, one, go. All right. So it's not a, but it's not a race. You're just walking. No, it's not a race, but you know, it is timed and you should do this at your normal pace. And if you think about it, this test is really a simple way to assess strength, mobility, balance mm. and kind of a minimal amount of fitness. And that's what makes this a good general screening test. One other thing, if you you are concerned you might fall, you should have someone with you and pay attention to the QR code at the bottom of the screen. You can find these tests. There's three of them online and click on Detroit.com. And for the record, you only took 10 seconds. Oh, very good to do this. And, and so, we did it in heels. And you did it in heels, no you less. Go, so you dog. are at zero risk of falling. <laughs> I appreciate that. These are really good to know, though. Yeah. I think really these is. are great at home tests for people, especially as we age. Yeah. You do need to do these with some frequency to basically check yourself and make sure that you're still able to keep function as strong. exactly keep yeah. your core strong make sure your balance is good make sure your vision is good it tests so many simple aspects that you might not think about unless you go through the actions and right? encourage your loved ones to do it too absolutely yes right. thanks doc sure